All right, so it's Toby and Ryan out here. We're gonna do some air rifle and BB gun testing today. Uh, let's go take a peek at what we got. Oh, hey, she forgot about this. This is a cheap one that was more plastic than it was, anything else. All right, so we have an old phone case of mine that was uh, supposed to be double-sided, but never was, so it's only got one layer. We got another new screen protector that sticky stuff didn't stick to. It's right there if you can't see it. And then for the air rifle, we're gonna see if we can get through this aluminum rain gutter or this old steel cap. So for starting off, Ryan is gonna shoot the handgun and we're gonna see what we can do. All right, so. All right, I think Ryan's going for one of the glass screen protectors there. Can you see him all right? Going to your phone case. All right, he's going phone case. I don't think he hit it. I, uh, you know, that one's had issues before, so, um, yeah, no, it didn't hit. Maybe I went through the camera place. All right, so now I'm going to shoot this. Let's, uh, see if I can hit it. Yeah, no, this thing doesn't have enough muzzle velocity. Let's move up real quick. All right, so we moved up. This doesn't have enough muzzle velocity. It's, even from here, I think if it hits, it's just going to bounce off. So I'm going to go for, uh, actually, let's go screen protector. It didn't even hit. Maybe one more shot. Oh. Yeah, this thing, it's BB gun, what do you expect? Doesn't shoot straight. I'm gonna give it to Ryan now real quick. All right, so, uh, yeah, it's cocked and ready to go. See if uh, he can hit one of those. Ooh, he hit it, which one did you hit? Screensaver? Yeah, your phone. Oh yeah, ooh yeah, you cracked it. It didn't go through. Definitely cracked it. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but uh, there's some cracks in there. It's got it's strong enough to crack it, but I mean, that's very thin Gorilla Glass. All right, so we got the air rifle out now. I'm just gonna shoot the aluminum, show you that, you know, this is gonna work, and we can see what it'll do through the aluminum. I think it went through and through. Yeah. We have an entrance hole and an exit. Definitely went through and through. Not really surprised this thing will go through soup cans. All right, so now we're gonna try it against this. I think it might actually be stopped by that. So let's go back and test it out. Still going. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go for that old grill top with the air rifle. Let's see what we can do. Hit low. Let me load another one in real quick. So I believe this is a Swiss Arms. I don't remember the model number. Yeah, it's definitely Swiss Arms. Oh, it's a TG1. This shoots at, I believe, 1300 feet per second. Not bad. Take out a big coon if you really wanted to. We hit it, I think that went in. Did you pause it? No, I was just wondering if you did. It's all good. Oh, so, you know, it hit it, and it smushed, but then it barely went through at the end. All right, not bad, not bad. You want to try your shot at this? Uh, like I'm all good. Sure? I'm good, yeah. Sure? Yep. Take a shot for it. Oh, okay. All right, so Ryan's shooting the air rifle. He's going for that aluminum gutter. Ooh, there we are. He hit it. Atta boy. So off camera, Ryan decided to you know, take a shot with the handgun from back here. He hit the other screen protector. Good thing we got this one that we can set up. He's holding my old phone so I, I can use this up even though it's a brand new one. We weren't very expensive on Amazon either. Um, so, let's just stick him right in there. All right, so now you can kind of see where yeah, I hit. Yeah, you can definitely... Probably you can see it better if I put my hand behind it on camera, maybe. Yeah, you yeah. can see it there. So yeah, he, he hit it, it'll crack it even from back there. But I mean, like I said, those are tiny, tiny things. They're very thin. All right. So the trick is, can I see it through the snow? I think it hit it. Let's go check out. I don't see anything. Oh, I definitely hit it. Oh yeah, I definitely hit it. I hit it down low. Ooh, this is a double-layered one. 
You can see it starting to peel up in between there. But I I definitely hit it. It just Oh, it ripped all the glass off and it's just got that plastic layer on the one side now. Whack. Ooh, it just cracked a little bit more. So now I want to see how this phone case is going to react. If it's going to shoot uh, break the same. It's all right. Uh, for when I shoot it with the air rifle was with uh, the handgun. So we're going to go see. Now we're going for the phone case. I'm going to try to aim right below the camera hole because that's where it's least cracked at. Can't really see. Oh, I saw it move. Yeah, I... Oh, I see it already. Yeah, so uh, that hit right where you hit it with the handgun, I'm pretty much sure. Mm -mm. A little bit higher. A little bit yeah. higher. This... Oh, wow, that's unexpected. This didn't really bow out as much as that one did. This must not have a plastic layer there. Or it does, but it's got a harder one. That's that's kind of interesting. Then again, this was like a $25 case. It got bent and cracked when I dropped my phone with it one time. Phone's all right. This bent, and that's all right. Put my old UAG case on it. Yeah, wow, that's actually surprising. You want to take a shot at this? Sure. All right, so Ryan's taking a shot at the phone case now. Go take a peek. Oh, yep, you hit it low. But yeah, same result. It just where did I hit it? Harder plastic. And right in the bottom corner here, he hit it. I wasn't showing oh. you guys that. So that's where I hit. Ryan hit down there. You can see the hole. So yeah, this has definitely got a harder plastic layer on it, which is actually kind of surprising because it, it, it was a cheap cracked. Chinese and case. It cracked like no other when you dropped it, and it broke. Well, it had a couple cracks in it, but I mean, it wasn't really cracked. There was like five cracks in it. So, all right. So now we're gonna get up close and personal. We're gonna take this to the least cracked screen protector, and we're gonna see if we can at least get it to go through it all. So it's gonna be right here. I missed. You, you swab and then you jump the gun. Literally, you you missed because you're not aiming because you're trying to be cool. No, oh, wow, it didn't. I'm actually really surprised that it didn't because I was really close and it's it's a BB gun and it... I bet one of my BB guns might be able to because but... it might just be a different power coming down. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is very true, but this isn't. This is by standards, this isn't the weakest BB gun I have so i'm surprised that it didn't go through but no i would say that just comes down to construction quality by the company you know i will find that and i'll leave this in the description i'll leave both of these actually i don't remember the link to that one but i'll leave the link to those s galaxy note uh correction galaxy s7 screen protectors in there so now we're going to shoot the note 9 case and up close and personal and see what she'll do there and it didn't go through that's actually, you know, but that's should what it happens. Same, it's starting shoot to it in the same spot again, see if it'll go through. It might, um, but it's starting to pull away from the backing now. That we've shot it a couple times and it's cracked. Yeah. I just, is it still recording? Yeah. Okay. Um, shoot it in one of the same spots, though. Yeah, I it can shouldn't... try. It might, it'll probably just blow the backing off of it. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if I, there's any more rounds in here. I think I have two, three rounds left. Didn't go through. That one went through. So, it went through right there just ever so slightly. It literally just went, had that time I had to go through the plastic. So right there it went through. Whack. Yeah, it's pretty, it is pretty whack. Let's see if there's another round in this. Oh, it was, and that one went through too. So you hit it almost the exact same spot. I think this completely dry. Yep, it's dry now. All right, so Ryan was asking me what we're going to do now. So we have a whole bunch of old cans. I'm going to go put this out over here. You're going to follow me, and we're going to put you over there. All right, so this little foxhole thing me and my brother's did 12 years ago. So I'm going to set this can here, right, actually, right here, just so we can see it through the trees. All right, you're gonna pause and we're gonna end up over there. All right, so we're going for a distant shot. This is probably about 50 yards. I've taken the shot before. It's been a while and I've adjusted the scope on this. I'm gonna zoom into that can way over there. 
Yeah, so this can right right above my finger, the little white thing, that was yellow, but it faded. I'm going to take the shot from here, and you should be able to hear it. You would should. It might take me a couple shots, but you guys are going to witness every shot I take, mainly for the sake of me being lazy and editing. All right. So... close this may be a little bit so uh that's all right though let me get more comfortable and uh i'm gonna try to take this oh, it's like a lounge chair look at me like a lounge chair yeah and uh for videoing try to get me because you can't see the can move at all so or if you want to get behind me you can get all of it Thank you. Second shot. That, like I said, I adjusted the scope the other day, so I'm surprised it hit it. To conclude this video, did you not get that on footage? No, I did. Why'd you pause it? I didn't. Oh. Wait, what do you, you just... It's still going. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you hit the button on it. Um, So this is going to conclude this video little bit of air rifle action we might film another one today put it out in a week or so uh i'm going to record the big surprise i put it out on my instagram i know they're not linked on it it's like my second video i've published but uh this is going out on my instagram it's at xj salty dog 343 i got a surprise that's coming up on monday so if you want to tune in if you ever see that <laughs> by the time this was published then i doubt you will but um so i'm gonna go take a look at that I, oh, I just want you to know, like, this is a dope gun holster. It's just my belt. Um, but yeah, so hit me up on Instagram. I got a surprise coming. Uh, I'm going to try to find some more ideas of shooting stuff, just some random RC stuff, and we need to start recording our mower stuff from now on because uh, we're building some racing mowers and stuff. We got a whole lot of small engines, some weed whackers, some blowers, and a couple mowers for 50 bucks last year, and only one hasn't ran out of six items and that's really good but we already knew that one was gonna run that's besides the point all right we need to do like some jeeping videos once you, we okay, get my jeeping Jeep videos first. yeah we can do that i'm definitely down don't mind me May, maybe this. get get me a car too maybe don't know hey, yet that just loosened up wow you want, you want me to end it now i mean you can you end it oh well then you're just going to sit me here twisting this knob that has been cross-threaded for a long time. I'm tightening it down. No, it's not moving. All right. Have a good one.